Hey guys, so in the last video I showed you how to make the sil nylon seam sealer. In this video I'm going to show you how to actually apply it and how to seam seal a tarp. And you can see here, I've got my DIY or homemade I guess, sil nylon seam sealer. And that's just silicone mixed with mineral spirits. And I've found the easiest way to apply it is just using a foam brush like you might find at a paint shop. You can find this anywhere for about 50 cents at a hardware store. And that is basically all you need to seal the tarp. Now the first step in successfully sealing a tarp is to pitch it very tight. You want to make sure that all of your guy lines are pitched out very tight and that your ridge line is super tight. And the reason you want to do this is because you want this seam here, the flat felled seam along the top of the tarp, you want to make sure it's very taut because when those two pieces of fabric start pulling apart, wherever the seam is, where the thread goes, it makes small little tiny holes and that's where rain gets in. So that's essentially what you're sealing when you seam seal a tarp. Now, hopefully you can see this on camera, but I've already done most of this ridge line here on this tarp. And it's not the neatest job, but it will get the job done. You can see this liquid looking wet part is where the actual silicone is that's sealing the ridge line. So what you're going to do is just take your brush and evenly apply a coat of the sil nylon or of the silicone along this center ridge line here. And if you get any areas in the middle here like where it's a little bit loose, I find it best just to take the edge of the tarp and pull it tight just to make sure that that seam is extra tight so you can seal it better. Now obviously you want to seal the entire ridge line but really there's no need to seal the rolled hems along the edge of the tarp. It's just such a narrow place it really doesn't matter if water gets in right there. Now as far as the tie outs go you can seal these. I generally just kind of do a quick brush over them. You don't have to seal them because they're right on the edge probably not going to make a huge difference. I do however like to seal this very top part where the webbing is attached to the uh, reinforcement material. So basically you're just going to be sealing this top seam and the tie outs. That's really all you have to do. You might not even have to do the tie outs. It's mostly just personal preference. So I'll just go ahead and show you how I'm going to finish up this last little section here. Okay, so what I do is I try to get a good coating of the silicone onto the brush and then kind of squish off the excess so you don't drip any on the tarp, squish it off on the side. I already made the mistake up a little bit further up on the ridge line of dripping some excess on the tarp so now I'm going to have a permanent wet looking spot, but it's not a big deal. If anything, it's just extra watertight. So this is where I ended the previous streak and what you want to do is just make a nice long even coating making sure that you get both of these thread seams here under the sil silicone coating. You just want to do nice even strokes. I like to go back and forth just to make sure I push it right down into the seam make sure it's nice and waterproof. Get some more silicone there. nice and even and this will it will dry it'll disguise itself a little better but it will remain throughout the life of the tarp so you're going to be seeing this darker spot pretty much as long as you have the tarp what some people do is they choose to powder this coating while it's still wet they powder it with a, like a talcum powder unscented talcum and that keeps it from being quite so sticky once it dries it will be a little sticky i've never found it to be a problem on my last tarp it was never a problem, but some people don't like to have that stickiness on, along their ridge line, so they put like a talcum powder. You don't want to use baby powder because then you'll be stuck with the scent of baby powder for the rest of your tarp life. But uh, just like a talcum powder will make the coating not quite so sticky. Alright, I figured I'd show you just how I do this final little 
area here I just kind of brush it on like you would expect just a nice little coating along the webbing and along the edges of this little reinforcement patch that I've sewn in here and you can tell where it's coated because it looks like it's wet and that's how you do it just even out this little bit here and so now the kind of final step is to walk along the ridge line pull the tarp tight make sure you don't have any dry gaps where the silicon hasn't touched one of the seams here so I'm just kind of holding the tarp tight I don't see any spots yet It's looking pretty good. It's already starting to dry a little bit in the sun. So what I'll probably do is go over, let this dry for about 30 minutes, go over with one more coat just to be safe, and then you want to leave it out to dry at least overnight. You can, 16 hours is probably enough time for it to dry sufficiently, but uh, I like to do it for at least a day. And then after that, you can come out with a hose or maybe it'll rain and you can actually spray test, get under the tarp and feel for any moisture along the ridge line and just spray the hose all along, make sure there's no leaks. So that is how you seal, seam seal a tarp. You can actually do this inside. It would be a little safer to do this inside in the garage where you don't have animals or potential tree limbs or leaves falling onto the tarp. But, this is the only room I had, so you can do it outside just as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you later.